everybody and welcome to another fly tying episode from wholesingersflyshop.com bringing you another pattern today this is an order pattern this is the rs2 uh, stands for rim semblance 2 and um, it's an older pattern like i said and it's an emerger and you can actually use this as a generic tied in a couple different colors and it'll imitate a couple different things it's meant to imitate a midge or a small mayfly um, I like to tie it for blue winged olives. Um, you could tie it. So I'm going to tie it actually in this video as a blue winged olive, but tie it in like Calabatus Calder. Um, I believe I read that it might have even been tied originally with beaver. So that's going to be like a brownish color, a gray brown color. So mess around, have it for different colors for different situations, and um, it'll work for you. It's a great emerger pattern. And also, I'm going to use CDC puffs in this. Um, you can use Antron. You can switch the wing material around a little bit too. Uh, you could even do like, if you really wanted to get flashy with it, you could even put some crystal flash, a couple strands of crystal flash off of there. It's not going to float or anything like that, but swinging it as a wet fly, it's going to get you a little bit of flash. Swinging it as an emerging wet fly kind of deal. And uh, I'm sure that would work too. But I would go with, if you're going to tie it, I would stick with either Antron or CDC Puffs. So you're going to have the best luck with that. So anyways, guys, here it is in the vise and then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see the RS2 fly in the vise. Uh, very cool little blue winged olive pattern we're tying this one in today. And um, let's get into tying it. So for a hook, I'm starting out with a 419 fire hole. This is uh, actually here in the video, I'm tying it in 16 just to make it a little bit bigger for you to see easier. But I'm gonna tie this on a size 18 or a size 20. For thread, I'm using some Semperfly Nano Silk 12 Watt, and the color is olive. So I'm just going to start that on there and wrap it back towards the back. Cut my tag off. And then wrap it right back to the bend. When I get back to the bend, I'm going to take some uh, extremely fine dubbing, Nature Spirit, uh, Blue Winged Olive, and I'm just going to make a tiny little ball. I'm going to use very, very little of this. Push it right up there. And right on that bend, I want to make a little ball of, a little ball of dubbing. A little bit much there, so I'm going to take a little bit off. And tie it down. Now, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take, um, these are mayfly tails. And really cool, you can't see them real well here, but it's a synthetic, this is a big stack of them. And I'm just gonna take two of them off. And the color I'm using is pale yellow, but you can use any color because they really, you're only using two of them, so it's not gonna show up that great. I mean, it's gonna show up, but the color's not gonna really matter that much. So what I want is about the length of the hook shank. So I'm going to pinch that on the side. I'm going to do these one at a time so I can control them a little bit. And I want them to be right on the side. Oops, I need to pull that out just a hair. There we go. Get it where I want it and tighten it down. Coming off the side. Okay. Then I'm going to come in with my other one. And do the exact same thing on the other side. So get it to the length I want it. Tie it in on the side. That one I put on just a little too long. So we're going to shorten it up. And we're going to use that little ball of dubbing there to splay out our tail. And then we'll wrap these down. And then trim them off. Okay, now here you can see there, I got them nice and splayed right off the back of the hook. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some dubbing. And I'm going to start actually up here 
where I want my dubbing to end, which is about a hook length behind the eye. And I'm going to add some more of this blue winged olive dubbing on. Now I'm going to go thin on this. It doesn't take much dubbing. We don't want to... This is a very small fly. Remember we're tying this size 18 or 20. And like I say usually, um, my goal is to change the color of the thread. So we're just going to wrap this on here. And I'm going to wrap it back there to that ball. And when I get back there, I want to make sure I don't knock my tails out of place. And then I'm going to come back up. And what I want is I want to build just a slight taper. I can add just a hair more here. And I mean a hair. I don't want much. But I want it to be slightly tapered up here at the front. Okay, now we're going to add a little CDC puff. And I need to get a better one here. Okay, so a CDC puff is right by the CDC gland, and it's not a feather, it's just a, it is a feather, but it's a, not the feather on a shaft like you're thinking. It's just a little puff by the oil gland of the duck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to grab the end of it, I'm going to pinch it in my fingers and make it real tight. And I want to get it, just the ends of it stuck out like that. I'm going to lay it on top and I want them to come right to where that tail is. So you see where I got them laying there. So I'm going to lay it on top and I'm going to pinch and do a loose wrap and wrap it on the hook. And then we're going to trim this off up front. Just want for a fly this small, one of those puffs is good on this one. Now I'm going to come in and make the head on this fly. And I'm just going to get back to that dubbing, that super fine dubbing. Make a nice tight noodle on here. And we're going to make the head. Now one thing that I like to do is I'll make a couple wraps here. And then I like to take this puff, pull it up, and I like to make one wrap in behind it. And it kind of just tightens everything up. And keeps everything on top. So once I get right behind that eye, we're just going to tie it off. And hit a whip finish. Uh, I broke my thread there. I'm going to put another whip finish on there just to make sure it's good. Alright, here we go. Nice good whip finish on there. Finish that head off nice. So that is all that is to the RS2 fly. Like I said, by making that one wrap behind, you see how it keeps everything nice and on top of the fly. And got your nice split tail there. This one's going to ride in the film nice for you and catch a fish during the blue winged olive hatch. Alright guys, hope you like that pattern. Pretty easy pattern, takes a little bit of practice, especially if you're a beginner because it's such a small fly. You know, small flies like that are sometimes a little bit more delicate and intricate. And the main thing, especially on a small fly, it's small, keep it small. You know, go really thin on that dubbing noodle. Um, use your super fine dubbing to get as thin as you can. Literally, you want to change the color of the dubbing. I mean, change the color of your thread. So, guys, that's one of the things I stress all the time is proportions. I try to stress that over and over and over in all my videos. Keep it thin and keep the proportions. You're trying to imitate a real insect, and a real insect isn't big and bulky unless it's a dragonfly or something like that. Dragonfly larva, you know, damselfly. So, keep it thin, and you're going to match the stuff that you're after. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That helps us out. And um, if you need any of the materials, like always, you can find it at our shop at wholesingersflyshop.com. So this is a pattern that I actually was requested to tie for a customer. And I've tied them before, but never really fished them. But it's the customer loves it, has a lot of success with it. 
wanted me to tie it, I thought I would share it with you. So, if you need anything tied, custom tying jobs, I do that. You can reach out to me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. And um, those orders are what helps me come up with things to give you every week for a fly tying pattern. Uh, you know, I, I'm over like around 100 and, or sorry, 425 videos now. It's hard to come up with new content all the time. So these fly orders that you guys are sending in for me give me new stuff to tie and I really enjoy it. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.